Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh my gosh, today's video, we are unfortunately cleaning out my garden and I did film this a little while ago and I will tell you my garden is even more of a mess than it is in this video. Like if you think this is bad, it's worse, but I'm still gonna show you me transforming it for the summertime. And then hopefully soon I can do a fall video as well. Apologies in advance if you hear my cats in the background, they are being crazy. So you can say I have some strawberry plants here from last year. I also had some green onions from last year and some rosemary from last year. Um, and actually my watermelon ended up regrowing funnily enough. So yeah, but anyways, the, I started out this kind of overhaul with cleaning out the right side of my garden, which I really kind of had my herbs and vegetables in. So last year I planted, um, I think basil, rosemary, some cilantro, cilantro, however you would prefer to say it, um, green onions and watermelon. And I think that was it. Um, and you can see all those like, you know, tall stalks with the white like plumes on it. That's, those are actually green onions and um, they did really well, but I just found I didn't really use them in recipes often, even though they grew like crazy. So instead of keeping these or trimming them down and having them regrow, I decided I was going to replace them this year with something I thought we would eat more. So I'm just kind of pulling these up and getting started on clearing out all of that. I filled up this little wagon very, very full uh, throughout this cleaning process. So kind of the only thing that I left here was the rosemary, which is hanging over the edge. You can see there, my rosemary is doing really well still. Um, and I didn't want to tear it up when it was doing really well. And I do use it quite often. So I wanted to keep that growing again this year. Next up, I just went through and kind of tilled up the dirt a little bit, moved it around, pulled out, um, you know, extra pieces of plant <laughs> that was laying around and everything. And then I started planting my new herbs. So I plant planted a fresh new basil plant. The basil does really well in this spot. It grew like two feet tall last year, but um, obviously died in the winter. I planted some sage behind it, which also did really well. And then I tried cilantro again and it did not do well. It died very quickly. I think the sun in my patio is just a little too intense for it. And so it burns it up really quickly. Then over here, I'm planting green bell peppers and orange bell peppers. Um, these also did well until it was time to kind of get close to planting them. And I think some bugs got to them because they looked kind of eaten up. So I'm still really learning. I'm very new to gardening. This is not something that I am like super great at, but I'm just learning as I go and um, hopefully getting better and better each year. So I planted some yellow onions where the watermelon and green onions were last year because Brendan and I eat onions like crazy. So I figured that would be something that we could really eat a lot of. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't really have any onions grow. They never really sprouted. Um, I guess this area or, you know, they just didn't like the spot that I put them in. So maybe we'll try again next year. Then in my left flower box, which used to have like more so flowers in it, I wanted to plant some more veggies. So I basically only planted romaine and spinach here. And on the left hand side in the middle, you can see that there is romaine that came up and did very, very well. But funnily enough, this is romaine that I actually planted in winter of last year. I didn't really expect it to do well, to be honest. Um, because you know obviously i planted it in the winter i kind of just planted it because i was bored and i wanted to get rid of the seed packet um so i planted it and then it randomly started uh sprouting once spring came around so that was a weird little situation but then i planted the lettuce and spinach in this flower box and i ended up growing a massive pile of weeds i don't even know how it happened, but it is literally just weeds. It's insane. Um, 
So not really sure where I went wrong. I am open to all of the gardening advice that any of you guys can give me. Um, but yeah, I did get a couple of salads out of the romaine from the winter. So, you know, at least I got some out of it. Then in the back of this flower box, I did plant the spinach. I didn't get one bite of spinach from this garden. Like I said, weeds just kind of grew up around it. Honestly, there might be some spinach way down hidden in there, um, but I haven't gone back to my garden since uh, since the summer to pull back the weeds and see. So I do plan on doing an overhaul in my garden for the fall. So if you'd like to see that, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Um, and you can see my amateur gardening in a couple of months. Then lastly, I just went over it with some water to get it all hydrated and ready to not grow. <laughs> Then we did a Home Depot run and I picked up some new flowers for some of my flower pots, which I was very excited about. Some of these did okay. Some of these absolutely just died quickly. Um, I started out with these cute little yellow flowers in these little mini flower boxes that I have, these little white ones. They died within like a week. They just did not do well. I don't know if it was too hot for them or what, um, but these just, yeah, these did not survive at all. Um, so that was unfortunate, but they did look pretty for the time being, which was nice. Next up, I decided to get some citronella for um, around the garden just because I feel like we do get some bugs kind of annoyingly. So I thought that might be a good deterrent um, to put near kind of the couches and seating areas. And then I just put the rest of the little yellow flowers that I had around the small um, bucket of citronella. I also got some lilies, um, which I thought were just absolutely gorgeous. And luckily I didn't bring these inside because I didn't realize until after the fact that cats are actually allergic to lilies. Um, but yeah, just a good thing to know for pet owners that your kitty cats are allergic. So uh, be careful if you have lilies around. Then I planted the big citronelle plant in this big white planter and I put that over in the other seating area so that again it would be kind of another deterrent for bugs while you're trying to sit and enjoy a book out on the patio. Then I cleaned up this disgusting old plant that was in this little planter. I had like a little palm leaf kind of guy in there and he obviously died. <laughs> What's new? Everything is dead. It's fine. Again, not a great gardener, but this little rose bush went perfectly inside this planter um, and it did pretty well for a while and then um, also died. This is a really depressing um, garden with me video. I mean, because I'm just sad that none of these plants really did very well except the basil and the rosemary. So then I just had these cute little white flowers I put in this smaller flower pot that I had. My goal is to just continue buying enough flower pots where it's like a little jungle out here, but the only way it's going to be a jungle is if I somehow manage to keep these darn plants alive. So everyone pray for me because hopefully I'll be able to figure that out soon. So then I went and placed these next to the door and then I actually had a rotten pumpkin from Halloween last year. Isn't that so embarrassing that was just slowly rotting out here? So I picked up the rest of the remnants of that and put it all in this bucket so I could put it in the trash. Um, yes, again, very embarrassing. I placed the lilies over on the other side of the doorway. I just think that they're so pretty. I really wish they'd lasted longer. And then I started to clean up, 
clean up after myself because I really did make a mess. There was dirt all over the table here, so I went and got a washcloth to wash that down and make it all clean. And then I just picked up around the yard. Uh, the only thing I wish I'd done was swept after this, but I didn't get around to it. It was a long day. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below to come hang out with me more on the channel. I do have some more makeover transformation and home videos coming soon. So if you are down for those, come subscribe, stick around, let's hang out. My Instagrams will be in the description bar below as well if you'd like to hang out over there. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.